Hey there, everybody. It's Gary from Constricted and Addicted. And one of the things that I'd like to share with you today is substrate and how I keep my humidities up in my enclosures. Uh, it's something I've always struggled with earlier in my reptile keeping. And it was one of those things I never even took notice to uh, prior to really caring for boa constrictors, uh, learning about the proper husbandry, and uh, I, I've learned a lot through just watching YouTube. Owning a BCC, which is what I'm holding here in my hand, this is a Guyana BCC, uh, and, and the Guyana BCC, or the Suriname BCC, the Peruvian BCC, the uh, any of the uh, boa constrictor constrictor localities, or any snake for that matter, it doesn't really matter if it's a ball python, a boa constrictor, uh, they all have humidity requirements. And if you look at a ball python, for instance, and that's where I really started, was is their humidity is about 70%. That's what they require in order for proper digestion of food, in order for proper shedding, uh, in, in order for proper overall health of the animal. So when I got into raising boa constrictors as a baby, uh, I, I really wanted to make sure that through raising a common boa constrictor that I was going to uh, be able to keep the humidity up. And like I said, I've always struggled with it. it first, I used to keep, I know the ultimate no-no for most people, uh, was I kept my ball pythons in a glass aquarium. And there was just, I mean, basically I was spraying, misting every day just to to get some sort of humidity into the enclosure and I, I, I struggled and struggled. And then I moved into a rack system. And then the rack system, I used aspen substrate, I used paper substrate, I used everything under the sun. And uh, I, I struggled, again, to keep the humidity up. Then I found this. From Freedom Breeder, Coco Blocks. And I know that there's other manufacturers of this product out there. Freedom Breeder is, is an hour and a half away from my house, so I can just literally drive down there or I can order the stuff online, it's free shipping. They deliver it right to my house. This stuff right here has been the saving grace for me and humidity for all of my snakes, every one of them. Uh, what I do is, in the video you'll see, I, I just I get it wet, I redo the, the enclosures with the cocoa blocks, and the humidity will stay at between 70-75% for about a week without me touching it. And then every so often after that, every couple of days, I'll go back and mist it. It is the easiest, most simplest way for me to maintain the humidity and to be able to keep a BCC correctly. The, the normal boa constrictors like my Morph, my Call Albino, my Jungle Hypo, I'll be honest, their humidities are not as astringent but because of the BCC care that I have, every one of my snakes gets the same care as the BCC does. And I know you're going to hear people say, well, you know what? They're, they're uh, domesticated. They're, they're not in the wild. They don't require the same care as they do as they're in the wild. And whether that's you or that's me, I give these guys as best care as I can. Uh, and, and if the, in the wild, they're accustomed to a 70% humidity with a 90% hotspot. That's what I'm going to do my best to give them. One of the best videos I saw was from Dave Kaufman or Dav Kaufman. And he had was in the, the, the jungles where the BCCs actually live. And he took a heat gun to the ground. And it showed 82% humidity and I believe 85 degrees. So the humidity on the ground where... The BCCs live, for the most part, was pretty high. So again, this Guyana here, it, it might be a third generation and domesticated, never been in the wild. Its ancestry is far from living in the wild. I don't know the lineage of my Guyana here, but I do know that it, it makes a difference to me. It's how I care for this guy. So he's such a sweetheart. I love him to death. So anyways, I just want to give a quick video on what I do for humidity, how I've struggled with humidity over the years, and finally found the product that works for me. Uh, I don't struggle with humidity anymore. 
Uh, the other thing I do to make sure is I have humidity gauges in every one of my enclosures. Uh, it's not a guessing game for me. If I see that my humidity drops below 50%, I make sure it gets up between 60 and 70%. And that's where my target range is, is typically between 50 and 70%. If I've got my humidity up there, I've never had a bad shed. I've never had a sick snake. I've never had anything but healthy products. And, and that's just with the humidity side of things. So uh, check it out. Thanks for watching.